everybody it's Julie and I have um, a video today showing you how to make a little bag out of an envelope out of an envelope and um, I'm actually gonna use this the one of these bags on my memory decks card for memory decks Monday um, so I just wanted to take a little extra time and show you my grandson had asked me if um, if I if I had a little bag and I did but then it wasn't little enough for what he wanted so I showed him how to make a little bag and I was like oh I need to show my do a video on this so what I do is take an envelope I'm gonna check and make sure we are in frame because I have a new um, case for my phone and um, Tom hasn't gotten to upgrade my um, my camera holder yet for it so I just want to make sure I was in frame so um, I'm gonna go ahead and seal the envelope to start with and we'll start with the big one just because it's gonna be the the easiest one to see you can use a scoreboard um, I didn't own a scoreboard until about three years ago, and I've been making these for a lot of years. Um, let's see, back in 19, like 93, I actually sold um, dots, or now it's called Close to My Heart, and I used to teach this at, at my when I would do the my rubber stamping classes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold up the bottom. Now this is going to be the size I'm going to use on all three sides. So, and I'm going to go ahead and fold back against itself. Okay. Um, I'm doing this not using a bone folder, not using, and I'm at right at about an inch. Um, not using a bone folder, not using my um, scoreboard, but that's because I want you guys to see that anybody could do this if you needed a quick bag for a little gift um, this is you could have this made and it'll be really cute before you could even get f probably find your keys to go to the store <laughs> now that used to work now nowadays people don't even need a key to drive their car and stuff so you know <laughs> that might not work anymore okay so I'm doing an inch fold all the way around no I'm doing an inch fold on three sides okay this is an envelope from out of my envelope stash and um, actually it's vintage as well okay so we have our three sides okay so I have pulled out some of my favorite um, edge scissors and so I have um, I have these the small scallop and I'm gonna go ahead and use those okay my favorite are the deckle edge scissors because you can just cut them and I have them in both sides the, the largest large and the small so um, you know if you have these scissors and haven't used them in a while this is a great thing to bring them out for is to just now I'm just gonna go along and with these ones I have to come back and meet at the place okay where I ended so if I ended with it up I need to be okay so that you get a good clean edge there so this is going to be a very long um but it's also going to be kind of thick little bag okay so now you're going to stick your hand in it you've cut the edge and you can cut it down shorter um so i'm going to open up the envelope okay with my hand and then i'm going to push down here at the bottom Okay, and this is where we're gonna make our little bag. Okay, so now I'm pushing on these, the corners. 
here and you might recognize what it's looking like from a grocery bag that you would buy and again you know William uh, was helping me the day that I was sewing with the grocery bag and that may have actually been where he came up with the question about a little bag was because we were deconstructing the grocery bag um, to sew it so I'm just gonna go and add some glue to this um, if my hot glue gun was on right now I would probably use that just because it's so much faster and then you can go ahead and glue it down I've used double-sided tape before that works really good and so you want to glue it down now kind of looks funny from the top so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna just fold in from the outside fold in from the outside and there you have your adorable little sack okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I've got this down here do I have I have clothespins <laughs> they're gone I had clothespins right there on my phone holder they are gone let's see I've got these funky no that's not the funky one these funny paper clips that actually make with some ribbon make great paper clips so I'm gonna go ahead and use it to help hold down and naturally it's not even the one that's got glue on it okay so we're gonna put some more glue and I have done something to my thumb on the inside it's like just out of joint or something it hurts so bad when I do some things and in the morning it clicks it like clicks in and out <laughs> I don't know I am I need to go to the chiropractor so they have them look at I'll have the car our chiropractor is amazing he'll take x-rays before he touches anything and um, so I may may do that okay so there we have our bag I'm gonna use those let it dry down there and just so that you get an idea we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more so here we have another one so you can see um, you know maybe maybe you just need you're gonna put like you've made a pair of earrings so you've made a pair of earrings and they're on a card or a tag and you just want a small envelope for the tag to go in okay so this size could be really good for that and um, you don't need it as thick maybe so whoop. you do want it to be straight very important that it is straight and you can see that you want to make sure that you go and you fold it and then you fold it okay and um, if you have a bone folder if you can find your bone folder <laughs> I have my Cricut one. That one's easy to find because it's green. Okay, so I'm eyeing it. I did not measure. Measuring's better in this case. Okay, so we're folding it. So I've done the outsides, folded it, and then whoop, fold it against itself. Sometimes you should not go so fast, Julie. Okay, and then We'll come down here and fold it up and fold it back okay so we'll use the deckle edge just because then we don't have to really pay attention to what we're doing you see these ones they're going to be okay wherever you start and restart I like them okay so again you're going to open the bag Stick your hand in, go ahead, push it down, pinch the, the corners down, and you'll want to glue this little piece here, this little, little piece of your flap, or cut it off, okay? 
Then you come down, you set it up, push your sides in, and you've got your little bag. Um, you know, these would be really great as an advent, like a um, the little advent wreath or the countdown to Christmas. And you could put little goodies inside of them. You could make them a variety of um, of sizes. I mean, look at how cute is that? Okay, so now we're going to skip down to this little one. This is the one I actually need for, um, for my project for Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold it about there okay so I'm gonna fold it come back fold it again okay there's that we'll fold it fold it whoop too big too big okay fold it Okay, and then you could decorate these really cute. And one of the things that I've done before is I've actually made like a miniature Christmas card and then um, put a clear pocket on the front and the card was actually the decoration. Um, I have I have done it for a gift card. I have made the front just the to and from. has flaps coming off the sides. I think we'll cut those off. And remember, every envelope is going to be a little different. Things are going to happen. And, um, you know, just play it by ear like this. So I'm cutting off these two little ledges because... Okay, so I have my little bag and I am going to open it up. So just like the big one, you're gonna open it up. You're gonna go ahead and fold in and crease in those corners down at the bottom. You're gonna fold in the sides just like we did before, okay? So I'm gonna fold it a little tighter. Okay, so I will be gluing this Okay, now what I wanted this to be for my um, project that I'm making it for is I actually want it to be a little shopping bag. So what I'm going to do here is I have my crop dial. I'm going to use the little tiny hole. And you, to do this, you're going to have to go inside. So I'm going to cut inside and I'm going to cut two holes. And then I'm going to come across and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I've cut two holes, and now I'm going to take some of this red and white baker's twine that is so cute, and wish me luck on this one. I'm going to try and thread it through. Okay, so let's, let's see. We're going to go, I want it up on the outside, so I'll go like this. So I'm threading it through. <laughs> okay, threading, threading. Okay, so if you have an awesome picture of somebody shopping and they've got the shopping bags like from Victoria's Secret or something from shopping. Um, I just think this would be an adorable embellishment. Um, I'm going to use this with a Julie Nutting doll. Um, actually in my thing. And I think it's going to be... <laughs> ah. Okay, so... And... 
going in. Okay, so now I've got my little hand, I'm gonna make my little handles. How high up do I want them to go? Now on this one, I did not put eyelets. So you can put eyelets, which I'm gonna do on the large one, because I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna decorate the large one too. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that through. I'm gonna get the other scissors that actually cut material. <laughs> What a difference a pair of, the right pair of scissors makes. Okay, so here I've got this adorable little bag. Okay. And then what I thought I would do is I'm going to get um, from uh, one of the ads, one of, a store name or something, something cute to go on there. And um, put that. And then the one other thing, if... I thought if you were gonna do it as like a gift bag, that you could use one of these little tiny jewelry tags as your tag. How cute would that be? Like your two from tag, you could decorate that. You know, when you buy these, you get like 144. So you gotta come up with ideas of how to use this little, this adorable little tag. Okay, so there you go. If you're going to, you know, put Santa's face on it or some little scene or something. And then you've got that cute little. Um, okay, so imagine that these are pushed up. The one other thing, and I don't have any tissue paper, but I do have this napkin. So we'll just... Because I'm going a little further than what I thought I was going to do for you. So um, you could go ahead and actually put some tissue paper in your little bag. Look at there. How cute is that? You have the cutest little bag for an embellishment for on a card. And again, you just decorate it with, um, like I said, I would probably use an ad but it would be really cute just with a sticker on it. These are the stickers that came from, um, oh, look at the Mary and Bright would look really cute on there. This is the sticker that came, or the, these came from Hobby Lobby. Maybe not. You know what? Looks like it's a square sticker. I haven't used these yet. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can cut it as a circle because I think that's going to be a lot. You know how I am. I don't use anything the way that it's meant to be used. <laughs> I'm going to change it. Okay, there we go. Okay. We'll just put that on there. There you go. Isn't that cute? Oh. I think that's so cute. Um, okay, so we'll put that back up there. So now for our large green one, should be dry now. Put the funky paper clips where they go so I can find them when I need them again. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the larger um, piece on my On my crocodile, I had something sticking in there. So get it out. Okay. Okay, so this time, um, this bag is wide enough that I can have a little more control over where I want it to go. And I'm going to put it right about here. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to put this one right about here. Then I'm going to go ahead. Oh. Okay, how did that happen? Apparently, I picked this up. Oh, well. Um, anyway, we'll, I'll go ahead and show you what I was going to show you here. Hi, yay, yay. So, um, I have these little red flowered eyelets. I, I think they're really cute. And I'm going to go ahead and just um, put them on. Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, so 
put it on and hmm, might not have it on. Ah! Well, it's a good thing this bag, this bag, isn't this bag cute? <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so we have some eyelets, and then there's, I have this ribbon. I only have this much of it left after I did my last project. And so, let's see, I don't need that much. I'm going to want it about there. So I'm going to cut two of them. I'm going to cut them at an angle. I'm going to cut them the same length. And I'll still have a piece left. And on this one, I'm going to go ahead and just go through the bat, through the eyelet, through the eyelet. I'm just going to tie a knot, okay? But I'm going to tie my knot so that um, you see the right side of the ribbon on the whole knot, okay? So there's my knot. Make sure it, yeah, there you go. We're gonna tie a knot. We're gonna put this one through also. So putting it through. And tying a knot. Again, um, right sides together. So that what I mean is you're gonna do your loop with the right side up you're going to make sure that when you pull through that the right side of your ribbon is showing all the way around on that loop. Okay, and we'll pull it through. And there we've got a cute little handle. Okay, so there's one. And then I'm, I'm <laughs> then you can do the other side as well. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't that make a cute little gift bag? Then you can come down in your... My, I have a lot of my Christmas stuff is... I brought out a three drawer thing so that it's right here. So you can just add Santa. You can put Santa on top of something so that it's bigger. I, I mean, I wouldn't waste this adorable thing but um, maybe on if you wanted it bigger um, I even like him by himself um, let's see put Santa where he goes so he could go right on there you could use of course um, over here we have book paper the book paper tags. The folded book paper is too big the, for the pocket. So you could have, you could put this on, you could put one of the folded book paper pockets like this. And then you'd have a place to put um, a card as well. But, oh my gosh, isn't that cute? And then, again, you can pull out your jewelry tags. And you could just add one of these. How cute is that? And how fast do we just make that little bag? Okay, so um, there you go. There is your tutorial on how to make a little bag out of an envelope. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. Find something to celebrate every day and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day and enjoy your day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.